now we can observe in this data that the month column here you can just observe this month column is not in order so if we use this data then this can give us improper conclusion so first of all if you want any plot to be made for any visualization you need to sort this month column what i mean by sort is so what is the first month of the year it is january so i want january at the top second february and so on at last i want december you can see they are not in order so i need to just sort them into the order and then we can use it for analysis so for sorting i'll just uh, give it right here the markdown saying you need to sort the month so let us sort the month now so here i'm going to import the calendar for it so calendar from calendar i want to import the month name if you print this month name then what you will have is you will have all the month name you can check it out month name then this is just a list containing month name you can see it is centralized at this location you can enumerate into this month name let's say i want to loop around in this month name that we have just imported and uh, i'll get i and name and i want to print this i along with the name if i run it then you can see i have zero january so zero is empty here so zero has not been used one is january 2 is February and so on. You can see they are in order. So we are going to use this month name now in order to sort our month attribute. So I'm going to define a function to do that. I'll just say sort date or maybe let's say sort month. So this is my function name. This will take the data frame and the name of a column that I want to sort. And in my case, I want to sort this month. So let us define a function where we can sort this length or in our case, month data. Now let us define this function and I will start with month dictionary. So I'll create a dictionary where I will store all the information about this month name and uh, the attributes into it. So I'm going to use here something called is dictionary comprehension if you haven't used then please search for it it is dictionary comprehension that means i'm going to return a dictionary that is all so i'm going to loop around this month name if you remember i have just shown you how we can loop around this month name just a moment ago so i'll just use this enumerate in this month name and i'll get i and j so what is i here i is like index and j is a month name and i'll just put it here j and i so j contains the name of a month i contains the index for that month and now i'm going to use it to sort our month number so I'm going to create a month number and I'm going to access our month. If you remember, this is the month. This is the column name and I want to sort it. So that is given in this call name. So in this DF, I'll just pass call name. This needs to be sorted column name. And in the column name, we will pass month this month our actual data frame month that needs to be sorted and i will call this apply function and call lambda to it this is an anonymous function and call month dict the dictionary that we have just created so this way now we will have sorted now next thing is we are creating a dictionary right here 
and we are applying the month to that dictionary now it is time to sort it so while returning i'll sort it so i'll take a data frame that is our actual data frame this data frame which in our case is a final this will be passed right here in the data frame and i'll just call sort values function and i want to buy the month name i want to sort it by the month number over here so i'll just sort it by the month number and i'll just say reset index this is what i want so here we can see i reset the index now for testing purpose what i'm going to do is i'm going to just store this final into some test variable so that i can test if this works or not so that our actual data won't be messed up after it works we will obviously work with the final data but for now let us work with the test so i will call this function now our function is made which will sort everything that we have now i'll run the function i'll go down and call this function now i'll say sort month and here i'm going to pass the that is a test data frame here we can see i'm just using this test because i don't want to mess our original data after this works then we are going to obviously work with the final data and what is the thing that you want to sort so i want to sort this month column so i will pass the month so test will be in this data frame and month will be sent as a argument to the call name and it will return after it sorted so if i run this then you can see first we have january then february then march april it has been sorted now so now month has been sorted so along with month we can see like month num has been added because of this command you can see in data frame we add month num so month num has been added and similarly with a month name we have this index also added i don't want these two column names in my final data frame so that means i need to drop them i need to remove them i only want these three thing only these three things month price for the resort and the price for the city hotel so i only want this in my final data frame after it is sorted you can see now it is sorted obviously but i don't want these things like index and the month num so after we reset the index i want to drop them so i can call the drop function in order to remove any column so what is the thing that i want to drop since i have two things to drop index and month num they are the two things so i can use the list to specify them so first column i want to drop is index and second column i want to drop is month num which is this column now after that i will specify the axis as one which means i want to just remove from the columns so these are the columns names so this command will drop it so the index and the month num will be dropped so that we will have final refined data so now let us test it again so i will again replace our test by final again so that i can test it one more time i will rerun our function i will again call our function and finally we will see all those has been dropped and our month has been sorted now instead of calling by test i can call with our final data because now everything looks fine now we can just remove this test i no longer want test i want now our final data to be sent so final will be sent and now if i call it now you can see our final data has been sorted with a month name in a proper manner so first we have january february so why do we need to sort it is because if you do not sort it then you will end up in a improper conclusion so that was the reason we need to sort it so that we can just check from going to january to the february was 
the price for the resort hotel or city hotel increase or decrease so for that proper analysis we sort our month now let us use it to perform some analysis so our final data is ready and it has been sorted now let us just plot our data so that we can do some analysis now finally let us plot it so we have this final which is our final data frame that contains this data about the month price for each of these hotels now i will take that final and call this plot function that is defined in pandas library and i want to just specify what kind of plot i want i want a line plot and i will give x x i want is a month and y i want is as a list i will give price so these same attributes price for resort hotel i'll copy it i will paste it right here price for resort hotel and similarly i want price for city hotel so this is what i want so i want a line plot in the x axis i want month in the y axis i want the price of each of these hotels now if i run this plot then you can see plot right here with the that is a index or a legend saying this blue line is for resort hotel and this orange line is for the city hotel and you can see the month right here month is also right here and this is the price the y axis is a price x axis is a month so that is what we specify here x axis should be month y axis is a price and kind here is a line plot so that is the reason we see this line in the line plot now using this line plot we can do and just have a several conclusion one of the prime conclusion that we can see here is this plot clearly shows that the price in the resort hotel just check this blue line in this resort hotel we can see going from this january to may we can see price rise also so that means the price of city hotel or in our case the resort hotel is higher so these hotels see here the price it has this peaks and uh, it is higher as compared to the city hotel you can see this orange line has a minimum peaks but in the case of resort hotel this peaks specifies that the price in the resort hotel are much higher during the summer so these are the summer season and we can see the price is higher for the resort hotel as compared to the city hotel and that is obvious there is no surprise here because people like resort hotel in the case of summer and uh, the price in the city hotel you can see this line the orange line the price of it varies less see here it is less in a january from december to january it is less and it is higher here from january to june it is rising so that means the price of city hotel varies less and is most expensive during spring and autumn season so that is what we can conclude by just looking at this analysis and this analysis might be vital for both parties for guest also and for the hotel managers also so this is the plot this is a deliverables and this is what you are going to do as a data scientist if you are working on hotel system or hotel line on the hotel system we do this kind of analysis and this is vital analysis and this will become very much productive on the long run for the hotel businesses now that is all in this video in the next video we are going to perform another analysis which will tell us which are the most busy month or in which month guests are high guest come highest or maximum guest come onto the hotel on which month and what is those month which can be productive for the hotel so that is what we are going to analyze in the next video see you in the next one